Hello everyone and welcome back to another snow mail episode, which is when you guys have sent in some amazing things to the PO box. We had a really great day yesterday and I wasn't able to work my way through the entire pile of awesomeness that we had. So today we're having a bonus episode once again and I'm really... Oh my gosh, I get so excited. It's like Christmas every single week. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to all of you who have sent something to our P.O. Box. I can't tell you how much it inspires me and how much I really cherish just everything that you send. I put it all into scrapbooks. I keep track of everything. It's just, it's amazing. And I really, really appreciate the time and the beautiful art and just the kind comments that you guys send. And even if you can't send anything, just know that this really represents part of our community. So this isn't just for me. This is kind of a representative of what the people who make up our community are like and thus what you can find out in the world. Like if you happen to meet like another pixel biologist, just, they're really amazing people and I just hope that makes you guys feel a little bit less alone out there. So that being said, I'm going to start diving into this because we have quite a bit to get through and I know I didn't get through everything yesterday and some people were like, no, Siri, I saw my letter and I didn't get to see it yet. So I'm going to just jump right in and we're going to keep moving. So if I'm going a little bit quicker than usual, like I say every single time, I apologize. Trust me, I sit and individually bask over everything afterward too. All right, so this one is from, oh, another one from Canada. Oh, and it's more pretty you guys have like the prettiest little flower stamps in Canada my gosh so yeah we've had a lot from Canada lately hi guys <laughs> I'm moving kind of towards up your way because I'm going to be moving to Michigan uh, about midway through the year so that's gonna be really interesting I should go visit Canada shouldn't I because I'm gonna be like right there on the border oh my gosh oh letter on other side please read on camera I like how I like how it's a little YouTube symbol for reading on camera okay 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 you guys Wow, look at this. Okay, I have to look at this really quickly. Branch Clan. So we have Branch Star, Quail Eye, Otter, Sa Otter Slip, Sea Whisper, Stone Kit, Wild Kit, Moon Kit, Bear Glow, Night Frost, and here's Slate. Here's Slate getting fed a gem by Stone Kit. This is adorable. I love this. And there's a big, beautiful letter with a big, beautiful me on the back. Okay, so let's see. Hi Siri, my name is Jacob. I'm 10 years old. I live in a small city named St. Lambert in Quebec, Canada. I have three fish named Jigglypuff the second. <laughs> that tells a story right there when you have something the second. And Jigglypuff. If I ever get another fish who looks like vaguely rotund, I'm gonna name it Jigglypuff the third in your honor, Jacob. Ka uh, kaboom and kabang. I also have two cats named Oreo and Caramel. I have a ball python named Jupiter. He's a baby. I love watching all of your videos, but my favorite series are Warriors, Zoo Tycoon 2, and Paws. I also like sport and zoo crafting. I love uh, nature, and luckily there are three zoos where I live. You're so lucky. Like to get to one zoo where I live, it's like 45 minutes of driving. If you are ever in the Montreal area, try and go to the zoo, um, the Zoo de Granby. Um, do do do, Granby. Do do do. Oh, that's French. That's why I'm having trouble reading it. <laughs> I can't read French. I apologize. I'm actually really good with Asian languages, though. Um, let's see. It's got lots of information in French. That's French for all the information for the zoo is in French. That would actually be really fun to go to, even if I couldn't read anything, because it would be a surreal different experience. Maybe a good sampling before we travel to Asia of what it's like to be somewhere where you can't read any of the like language. That would probably be pretty good for me to try out. That would be really fun. I also love my summer camp. It is a camp that... Uh, it is a camp for kids with type 1 diabetes like me. Siri, I have just one question, and I know it has been uh, ages, but I can't comment on your videos because I don't have a YouTube account. What happened to Farmville 2? Anyway, I hope you keep up the hard work. Uh, you are amazing, Jacob. P.S. You are my favorite YouTuber. Jacob, Jacob, wow. <laughs> your art is beautiful. Your letter is beautiful. My heart feels so happy right now just seeing all of this. And in turn, Smilodons uh, could climb trees. Oh, it's a little, it's a quote from one of my older episodes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I remember that. 
<laughs> and yeah, so what happened to Farmville 2? I just got a little overwhelmed because there's so much you have to do every single day on Farmville 2 if you want to try to do everything. But I've actually missed it quite a bit and I've been debating whether or not I'd bring it back. And if I did, if it would be on the main channel or the vlog channel or if I would bring it back at all because I really love farming games. Right now, Stardew Valley is kind of my favorite. But for Farmville 2, it was a case of like I had so many things on my plate to try to juggle because we have so many series. And that one had the least amount of views. So that usually like if it if something doesn't make like over a thousand views then it falls into a range of like Siri should you really be like responsibly recording that or not and if the answer is yes because I love it then yes I will continue recording it but I got a little overwhelmed with Farmville too but I really miss it I actually think about it a lot um my friend Christian keeps messaging me on Twitter going so when are you coming back and I might start that up again I'll have to think about that but thank you so much and I'm really excited about the idea and this art wow really excited about the idea of one day visiting Canada and it would be really fun to go to a zoo where everything is in another language and walk around and be like well let's see if I recognize anything so that would be really fun thank you so much Jacob and I am so glad that you like your camp and that there is a camp out there for kids like you so you can enjoy everything fully to the max and safely too all right and I just ripped into this other letter without even reading it I'm sorry I was just on automatic all right so Port Orange Florida no name just yet so let's take a peek <gasps> I see, I think I see kitties. Oh, it's Branch Star. Look you guys, it's Branch Star. So our leader of Branch Clan. And then right here we have Doge's. Wow, this is really actually very nicely stylized art. I really like that. So then we have Branch Star Doge's. Here's Misty. Look at that. Wow, look at that sheen. That is so pretty. Wow. Is there, oh, there's a letter. And here's Squirrelleap, who is a fan favorite for sure. Squirrelleap, I've really fallen in love with her too. All right, so let's see. Letter, you can read out loud. Hi Siri, my name is Erin and I live in Florida. I found your channel a few months ago. To show my support, I decided to send in some fan art. Hope you enjoy. Erin, thank you so much. I do enjoy it. I love it and it makes me really excited because I'm like, oh, I should go visit Florida too. I guess I'm in the mood for travel today. But yes, yeah, so thank you so much. These are adorable. I really love how, like, look at a little squirrely. Like the art style is really, there's something about it that's really enchanting too. And I love how Misty glows. Look at that. She's all shiny, that is so cool. So thank you so much, Erin. I hope you are having a wonderful time. I am really glad you are a member of our community now and I hope you are enjoying the Warrior Cat series. I have to say it's probably the series I am the most proud about so far. Um, well, zoo crafting is really way up there. And then actually this package um, from Jade in Canada, and I'll cover up the address, read on camera it says, enjoy it says, with this beautiful fox it says. Uh, Canada, wow, <laughs> lots from Canada lately. I almost wonder if they just like had all of these things in customs and they released it all at once. That's hilarious. So let's go ahead and open this one up next because it was just kind of sitting on the top of my little pile there and we'll work our way through things. Is that another one from Canada? Oh, that's from Australia. <laughs> So yeah, maybe Customs was just holding everything going, the Siri person, she's been getting a lot of mail lately. Who is she? We need to make sure she's legit. What's going on here? All right, there we go. And let's see what's hiding inside. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hang in there, you guys. Wait for it. Wait for it. No way. <laughs> no way. Okay. I'm going to very carefully make sure I got everything. Oh my gosh. All right. <gasps> <laughs> look at that! Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness, look at these little loom guys! I have lots of loom bands. I should probably put them on more often for our vlogs, but I don't have any little loom creatures yet, so this is really fun. And look at this, like, wow! I didn't even know. I'm gonna have to send pictures of these to my little, my cousins, because I'm gonna be like, hey you guys, I know you're always making those bracelets, but what about this? This is beautiful! Wow! Wow, I've never seen anything like it. I used to make bead animals all the time. Fun fact, I had a little side business in elementary school making and selling bead animals. And here is this beautiful one right here. This is so cool. I love seeing all the different ways that your guys' creativity, oh, it's so cute. All of the ways that your guys' creativity shows. It's just, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, and there's a seashell. Look at the little seashell. It's really cute. Oh my gosh. All right, and then we have a puppy. <laughs> and on the back we have Honey Wish, Lion Star, and Moss Leaf. Look at those drawings. You guys are so freaking talented. Look at that. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. 
Hello, I hope you are well. I'd like to say a few things, but first, happy belated birthday, I think. And there's a giraffe. <laughs> I love the giraffes. Okay, so let's see what's going on in here. I am so honored to be part of this community. You are a wonderful inspiration for a 13 year old as I would love to be a biologist. This art is so good. I love your enthusiasm for what you do and sharing the funny moments every day. I hope you enjoy the things I made with some specimens and there's even something for chips. Oh, he's gonna love that, thank you so much. Oh, that makes my heart so happy. I love watching your War Cats, Wolf Quest, Star Stable, and Stardew Valley series. Ha, and then I love it when you guys do this, when you do the series with the like highlighting of Siri. That is just so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you guys, we've got to look at all of this. That's you guys. That's You pick who you want to be and then we can give each other little stick figure hugs because you are all part of this community, like including the like people who are my age, people who are older, people who are younger. That's really, if you can take away anything, it's that you're not alone. There are other people who really are inspired by things and they just they share whatever feelings you have towards why you stick around in our community. They share that with you somewhere out there in the world. And I don't know about you guys, but as somebody who used to be really shy and socially anxious and think that everybody in the world hated me, it's really fun to think that there's people out there who are just going to be accepting and kind and generous. And that's, that's you guys. That's all these. See, that's all you guys right there. And look at this. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Look at this. This is beautiful. That makes me want to go visit the Savannah Zone in our Zoo Tycoon 2 series again. And then look at these guys. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. This is amazing. And mushrooms and daffodils. It's just, this is one of the best birthday cards I have ever received. And let's see, do we have a name yet? I don't know if we have a name yet. It's a mystery person, 13 year old biologist mystery person unless I just need to read the front again Jade <laughs> I should have remembered that that's the name of my cousins <laughs> I was thinking of my cousins that's probably why oh my god it's chips it's a potato bag that's called chips <laughs> he's gonna enjoy that that's gonna be really cute and then oh that's so cool have a penny for luck that is so cool look at that and then there's another beautiful seashell right here this is amazing. Jade, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And there's even more. Jade, you're the one who made this for me. I remember it. I remember it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have this now. This is one of those pieces. I need to make like a Wolf Quest fan art little wall section because you guys, I'm so glad you still love it. I'm so glad it's meant so much to all of you. This is just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Got nothing else to do. <laughs> look at all of this art Jane you are so talented this is I mean look at that this is so beautiful how am I going to possibly <gasps> Jane you're the one who made this without eating the berries thank you oh my gosh thank you so much that's like some of my favorite I don't know why it's just like one of my favorite things to get for star stable fan art is thistle down eating berries inside of its little adorable like pack there oh my gosh and then we've got the make a wish right here and we've got some fun colors right there Jade Jade, thank you. Thank you so much. And I hope you are having a wonderful, beautiful day, finding things out there to be inspired by, and studying hard even when it sucks, because that's what it takes to be a biologist. And this is just my penny for luck. I'm going to show Chips this. He's going to really love this. The, between this and then the candy bar from yesterday, that is just too cool. And the beautiful looms, like look at those. Those are just awesome. Jade, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are just so amazing. This whole community is so amazing. All right, I've got to keep moving or else I'm going to sit here and just go into one of my like Siri meditative, everything is a fantastic and the world is beautiful phases, which is awesome. Just not when you've got to open up the rest of this mail so that you guys aren't left hanging and waiting. And we've got big packages back there too, which is still kind of like the cherry on top of the cake, which is going to be really cool. All right, so this is from Abigail. So this is from Abigail in Missouri. I actually know where that is in Missouri too, because I used to live in Missouri. I lived in uh, Columbia for a very long time and then I lived in Blue Springs for a very long time. All right, let's go ahead and crack this open and make sure there's nothing in there. Okay, good, good. And then we're gonna gently put those there. We've got some little letters and things. I hope you like it. I hope I like it too. I'm probably gonna love it, you know me. And then, ooh, oh, it's new crafting dogs and chocobo. Look at those dogs. That is so elegant and gorgeous. Oh my goodness. 
Lily and Tate, Pine, Alia, there's Aster Seed and Sunflower. They're gonna have their chicks soon. We're gonna have Aster Seed and Sunflower chicks soon. There's Devin, look at how cute Devin is. Oh my gosh. Iris and Zoe. There's Holly and Ash down there. Oh my gosh. From Epic Dragon, Abby. Oh, Abby, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Your art styles, everybody's art styles are so individually gorgeous and unique. And honey, I wish with honey. Oh, that's the very first time anybody has ever shown her off with like her honey obsession that she has. I need to show that off more once New Leaf comes around in our series so that you guys can see just how much Honey Wish loves her honey. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. This art is so beautiful. Oh, and there's Luna's legacy. My legacy lives on with the moon pack. Look at how moon is done with two beautiful crescent moons right there. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is, I am just like already swimming in a sea of talent and art and beauty. This is fantastic. All right, and here we go. Dear Siri, I have been watching all of your videos since episode one of Zoo Crafting, when you only had Lily and Tate. You have come so far in Zoo Crafting and Wolf Quest. Wolf Quest is my top three favorite series of yours. By far, Warrior Cats is my all-time favorite series on YouTube. I love all the cats and the plotline is awesome and creative, which is amazing because most of it's just flying by the seat of my pants and random generators. I think that's what makes it so fun. Moss Clan and Branch Clan are great clan names. I really love your channel and everything you do, so keep doing what you love. I am 10 years old and I want to be a biologist like you. Sincerely, Abby Angel. Siri, pixel biologist. Abby, I hope you do whatever it is you want to do. And that you know when you put kindness out in the world like this and you just focus on trying to be nice to people and that's an investment in yourself. Don't let anybody ever let you doubt that trying to take the high road and trying to treat yourself and others correctly, right, is is anything less than a true deep investment in yourself because it, it totally is and when I see these kinds of kind messages from you guys from my point of view like I'm almost 20 years older than some of you and that's a lot <laughs> I could be some of your parents so to like see these kinds of just kind messages just pour out of our community you guys, you're putting like investment in our future that way, not just with all of our passion for the environment, but by doing kind things, you are investing in yourself. You are creating a really strong and wonderful person just by smiling at someone and just by being polite and just by turning the other cheek when you know that it would be so easy to start yelling at somebody, but it's worth it just to ignore it and take the high road. And I don't know why that inspired me to say that, but Abby, I'm so proud of all of you for just being kind and for how kind everybody is in our community. And I'm gonna start babbling again, so I'm gonna keep moving, but thank you so much for your beautiful art and thank you so much for your kind words. And we have paw prints. We have adorable paw prints from North Carolina. I think this is my North Carolina friend. One of my North Carolina friends who live like really close to me, which is really surreal. We were actually, Trips and I were talking about you guys who live here like really, really close to me the other day. We're like, that would be kind of weird if we were just out and about at the Arboretum or something and ran into somebody who's like, is that Siri? The like, first time I get recognized, I'm gonna have to vlog it. Like, that's gonna be surreal. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let's see what we have here. Here we go. It's more of your beautiful art. It's more of the glorious, glorious art. Flowers bloom, claws clash. As you see darkness, you walk into light. And so I love these because you guys can send me all of the little prompts for possible prophecies that you want because they really help to inspire me for how we might handle our random generators tossing what we do. And aloud, thank you very much. Dear Siri, could you take on requests for OCs? Also loving the series drama and suspense of Warrior Cats. Since you're only, uh, you're only on the second series, I'll give you a warning because I was basically screaming at the books. From Carolina, I like chocolate too. Chips is chocolate. <laughs> Siri hides chocolate. Next day, chocolate. Siri, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to show him that. <laughs> Cause it's true, cause it's true. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's so wonderful. Caroline, uh, Car why do I say Caroline? I live in Carolina. I know it's cause I'm like, no, Caroline is a state name and it's also your beautiful name. If people knew my real name, they would, my, my real name is like a whole bunch of random things. So look at that. There's Moon Kit, there's Stone Kit. 
Carolina, I am so happy to have more of your art. I'm gonna put that in. I have a special little section where your stuff like goes and I like open it up chronologically. It's really fun to see you guys who send in things repeatedly. And then I'll go back to the scrapbook and I'll like dig around till I'm like, ah, there they are. And I'll like add it to that section. Oh, this is just so sweet. Thank you so much, Carolina. I'm gonna show Chips that. He's gonna think that's hilarious because it's really what happens with our chocolate in this house. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, I wish I could just sit and like talk about each piece for forever, but oh my gosh, this is gonna already be a really long one. I just know it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Again, it's from the bottom of my heart. I, I love and appreciate all of you guys. And if I seem to be going a little fast, it's because I'm just trying to make sure we get this done in a timely manner. And trust me, I bask over all of your letters and your notes privately, like later when I'm putting them into the scrapbooks and when I'm reflecting on them. And let's make sure this one's empty. And this one is from Iowa. I'm gonna have to work on my state abbreviations, I and A, and totally okay to read on camera. What's this? <gasps> They're flower pictures! Oh, this has to be an allium or a chive of some kind. I love this. Look at that. Isn't that just the coolest thing? Oh my gosh. Look at these beautiful pictures. This is what it's all about, you guys. <gasps> Whoa! Do you live here? Look at that! How fun would it be to walk out and see all of that? And what about this? Oh my gosh! These are so pretty! These are so pretty. You know, fun fact, Siri used to be very depressed because I was a very depressed young woman. And the thing that got me out of my slump was by going, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my little camera and I'm gonna take a picture of a flower outside every day. It has to be a different flower every day. And I did it and it changed my entire life. So that's what these kinds of pictures remind me of is when I really started changing my life just by going out and appreciating the outside. Cause you can appreciate a flower and not have to think about how your head may not appreciate yourself. And then it's really funny because the more you start going, this is beautiful, the more you start looking in the mirror and going, oh, hey, maybe maybe I'm not so bad after all. And it grows on you over time. So whenever I see people send pictures of flowers or people take pictures of flowers to share like on Twitter or Facebook, it reminds me of that wonderful time in my life where I made that huge transition and change. So lots of hidden meanings in these flowers. You bet you didn't know about that. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. This is adorable. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at all the stickers. And it's totally okay to read on camera, so I'm gonna settle in and read on camera. Dear Siri, greetings from Iowa. It's a gorgeous spring morning as I'm writing this letter. The sky is clear, the sun is shining, and the temperature is warm, and there's a gentle breeze flowing through the curtains. I love mornings like this. I feel kind of silly writing you a letter. I'm 33 years old. Really, at this age, am I supposed to be writing a letter to a YouTuber? I don't, no, I don't care. Even at my old age, I can be pretty silly at times, and that makes me really happy, because this looks like somebody else who has um, known the secret is just, to be silly if you want to. And you don't ever really get old until you tell yourself you're old and that you shouldn't participate in the things that make you feel like you're inspired and curious and creative anymore. And I love this use of stickers. I, there's a giraffe! I just realized there's a giraffe here too. Okay. I discovered your channel in 2013 when I was searching for Sims 2 Let's Play videos. I fell in love with both versions of Ladestia in your Sims 2 Let's Play and then watched every video as if I was watching Netflix. Your videos have inspired me to play Sims 2 in a completely different way than I had been. It's such an awesome, it's such awesome fun to feel new inspiration. Sadly, the computer I used to play Sims 2 on has gone kaput. I'm currently saving money so I can eventually buy a gaming computer, although I'm fairly lost on what requirements are needed to run Sims 3 and Sims 4, which I ultimately want to be able to play. Maybe you can do a video sometime on your new computer specs. I would be happy to. I will warn you guys though, I spent a lot of money on my computer because it's a work investment, but I would be really happy to be able to go like, look, this is all you need to really enjoy like a good Sims 4 play because a lot of people ask me that question and it's very valuable information if you ask me. Especially because most people are like, how can I run the latest like FPS da -da -da shooter and that needs a lot more intensive things than Sims 4 does. And I love The Sims because you can just dive into the stories and it's really amazing. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. My favorite series on the channel right now are Sims 4, Specimen Spotlight, 101 Dalmatians Challenge, and I actually just started watching Zoo Crafting. For some reason, I had always been turned off by the pixelated style of Minecraft, but then I randomly watched the episode of Zoo Crafting where you got your birthday giraffes, and I was so entertained by your excitement that now I have started watching the series as well. In addition, I love everything you put up on the vlog channel. I know it's difficult to, do, to get time to do those extra bits for the vlogs, but they are so incredibly appreciated. More than just video games, you also inspire me to fall in love with nature 
nature. Prior to watching this channel, I guess I would say I felt somewhat indifferent about nature. I might see a pretty flower and think, oh, that's pretty, and then move along. But now I see a pretty flower and I want to get up close to it and really examine the colors and markings and structure of it. I was never one to take a walk in the woods before, but now I, but now I experience so much joy being outside and noticing the simple things, like moss. A few years ago, if someone would have told me that I would get excited to see moss growing on a dead tree stump, I probably would have thought they were crazy. I'm actually tearing up because that's the thing I want the most out of life. And it actually, I think it was Ari asked on Twitter the other day, if you could leave any legacy behind, what would it be? And I knew my answer right away and I replied to leave inspiration and motivation to discover the natural world and appreciate it in the hearts of the people who know me. And so I'm gonna start, oh my gosh, Renee, this is amazing. <laughs> This is amazing! Oh, see you guys, like our community, all ages, all backgrounds, all interests, and completely amazing. Uh, with this love of nature also came an interest in photography. To be able to capture bits and pieces of the natural world and images has been so fulfilling to me. I don't really have a fancy camera or anything, but I do the best with what I have. I do, I do the best I can with what I have. I have included a few pictures for you. I also wanted to th say thank you from the bottom of my heart. These adventures have lifted me up in hard times and have been extra fun and joy in good times. I've discovered passions in me I didn't know existed, and that may not have happened without this channel and the community that supports it. I'm sorry to have babbled on for so long, but but I think you know how it is. I hope to write again soon. Renee. P.S. I'm obsessed with stickers in case you couldn't tell. And there's more here. Renee. Wow. <laughs> um, basically, Renee, this letter is everything I have ever hoped to achieve. <laughs> it really is. Because it's not just the younger people. It's not just kids who need the inspiration. If anything, I feel like this world would be a better place if the older generations aka me and up, um, could just appreciate life on a new level. When you can really cultivate that ability to slow down and see the beautiful things out in the everyday, it changes you in a way where life just becomes so much better. And that betterness just kind of grows inside of you until you try to put kindness out before you even realize it, until you try to be more patient without even realizing it. There's something about being able to cultivate gratitude and slowing down and just seeing the beauty in everything that changes everything about who you are and how you interact with the world and how you treat other people. And to see that you've been inspired by some of my very first episodes I ever put out, those Sims 2, is just a reminder how I hope none of you will ever doubt that the things you do, even when they're silly, if you go back, I've left them up because they're horrible quality and I want people to see where I came from, of those very first Sims 2 episodes, if you go back and look at those, then you can see that that it's... It's still, it doesn't matter what quality it is, it doesn't matter as Renee says, if you have a really fancy camera or not, you never know how you're gonna just take inspiration and give it and share it and it's just gonna inspire others. And Renee, this is truly, I feel like this is truly like a pinnacle of amazement, so thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you guys have a little glimpse uh, with saying that into just what my motivation is behind all of this and where I want to go with our community and what I try so hard to gather up that kindness, that excitement, that motivation, that joy, that curiosity. The whole point of gathering it up and collecting it and creating these adventures for you guys is so that I can share them with you and you can get little bits and pieces that who knows, who knows? I have no idea how that little fragment might trickle down and fit into your life but however it does that's the whole point so you can take it and you can use that little tiny fragment and run with it whichever direction you want become a biologist just take more pictures write books than you actually know like plants you can put on the deserted islands that you're writing about wherever you go with it that's the whole point is just taking the beauty and the love and the passion I have about every single day now which took a long time to cultivate, by the way, and then give it to you guys so you can do whatever you need with that positive, joyful energy. And I hope that one day you'll be able to collect enough of it to then just put it out and see what happens with what you give to other people too. And I'm actually gonna, like Renee, whew, I'm gonna have to sit with this one for a little bit. So we will continue with more snail mail tomorrow because wow, wow. <laughs> This is amazing. And I'm so sorry for you guys who I'm still trying to get to. This is just, 
I, I feel pretty humbled right now, and I just hope that you guys can take away the powerful messages of what a kind and curious community can create. And yeah, so I will talk with you guys some more tomorrow as our snail mail invasion continues, and we see what other amazing inspiration and what other amazing creations the members of our community have sent to us. And I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.